full scholarship music program uh, for um, uh, three programs in its pilot phase in the first three years. Uh, what we did was we expanded it from a double bass program to adding uh, a program for pianists called Soundboard and a program for the multifaceted misfits of music that want to pioneer their own careers called Resonance. And those three programs uh, go week after week after week over a three week structure. Uh, we start with Resonance, we go into Soundboard, and then we finish with Wabase Institute. It's a democracy. And um, even with what we call faculty mentors, who are the teachers, so to speak, I guess if you would think about a teacher-student, and the fellowship scholars, who are the students, the reason we've changed those semantics is we're trying to bridge the gap between what is actually a teacher and student and consider all of ourselves, the teachers and the students, curating the week together, all together. Um, and what that does is it makes it so that we hit the ground running with um, giving each other the empowerment to all feel like we have ownership over ourselves while also being humble enough to learn from one another. First of all, if you're hearing that and you're thinking, oh, I can't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have the means to support something like that in that way. You may, you may know someone who does, or you may be able to just spread the word. So spreading the word is is um, is a huge resource for any nonprofit. So just remember that that you may have more power than you think you have. I didn't really understand philanthropy and how the nonprofit world worked and why it was significant. Like why is this museum here? You know, <laughs> like how does it actually get here? Uh, it gets here because of you know very generous people that make it a possibility and, and, and we want it here because it's significant to making our community great. I think that's a very special thing.